Hello there. These rather wonderful looking clouds are known as nacreous or mother of pearl or more technically polar stratospheric clouds. And they form each winter in the cold air encircled by the polar vortex in the stratosphere. The threshold for their formation is minus 78 degrees C, which is met each year throughout the winter in the Antarctic. But due to the volatile nature of the Arctic vortex, we don't always see that threshold met. And if we do, it's usually only for a short space of time across quite a small area. However, this year we saw that threshold met across a record large area of around 15 million square kilometres. This very strong vortex that we've seen has been partially responsible for the succession of low pressure systems that the UK has seen this winter. However, as February approached, we saw an increasing amplitude wave 1 event in the, from the Pacific side of the stratosphere attack the vortex and push it towards the UK. And that meant that the very cold air mass that the vortex encircles was moved overhead of the UK. And that's why we've seen polar stratospheric clouds visible from the UK. Which is quite a rare event because it requires not only a strong vortex initially, but then this wave event to push it over the UK whilst maintaining its intensity. There's a dark side to polar stratospheric clouds though, in that they form a catalytic surface upon which CFCs can deplete ozone. And as you can see in this plot from February 1st, there was indeed a small ozone hole forming over the UK. So as the sun rises higher in the sky over the coming few months, do remember to take a little bit of extra care to protect yourself from those harmful UV rays. Thanks for watching. Letting you need